yes and no. If you sowed your soul to the devil, can you be saved? That is a yes and no. It says in uh, Hebrews chapter 6 that if somebody has experienced the good things of God, then no, they cannot be saved if they have sowed their soul to the devil. But however, let's say what somebody heard was the the king the fluoride head king lovers gospel, which is a false gospel of Jesus Christ. They never really knew who Jesus was, then yes, that is possible that they can be saved if they sold their soul to the devil. I believe God is wanting me to get some uh, videos out now and uh, it's kind of in a rush to get me to do this and I think God's pushing me along to do this. So if you heard the false gospel then yeah, it's possible to and so yourself to be saved. See, at the crucifixion, uh, Jesus won against Satan the devil. You see, Satan the devil has no authority on this earth unless you give it to him. But he has no authority because Jesus. Uh, revoked all of Satan's authority at the cross. He won against Satan. It was like a, a bet that went on and Jesus won it. You know, if Jesus could go to the cross or to the stake as some people say um, without ever sinning then he, then Satan is like the Job factor, you know, where um, God said to Job, said to Satan, uh, have you tried my servant Job? He will not turn against me, you know. And the same thing with Jesus going to the cross. He, he didn't turn against God. He was perfectly sinless and did everything that he was told to do by the Father, God, Yahweh. But, so if you heard a false gospel, yeah, it's possible that a person can be saved if they've sold their soul. As I said before, and as I said before, it's uh, God that does the saving. Everyone was saved. We were born again at the crucifixion we were crucified with Christ that's when we were born again but if you heard the gospel then you must receive it and be baptized confessing of the righteousness of the Christ if you heard it I mean, like I said if they heard of the fluoride head king lovers gospel then you, you never ever heard the gospel really they hijack Christianity and, so, so, and put on the world's biggest religious ritual circus. But as it says in uh, Hebrews chapter 6, if you tasted the good things, spirit, experience the supernatural things, really understand who the Christ is. See, I haven't even tasted really too much of heavenly gifts because I don't know if you could call this a gift because it requires a lot of suffering I guess there is reward in it so that uh, depends on how you look at it 
there's a lot of suffering involved in it, you know, so I have to live by faith too, not really blind faith, because if you understand the Word of God, you see it is not really blind faith, you believe in an absolute um, belief of power. So, so like I said, if a if they known who the Christ really is, know that that you can't bring them to repentance. But if they but if they what they heard was uh, the false gospel, yeah, it would be, you know. And that's all I got to really say for now.